morning, hello, quick outfit of the day because I am literally running out of the door. Um, so I'm wearing my ASOS uh, denim shirt, I haven't worn a denim shirt in ages so I thought I would crack one out today. Um, some white jeans, these are from River Island, my little Topshop Gladiator sandals, these are called the Heaven sandals I think, they're a kind of little snake print and then I have my blue whistles bag. Award for the most rushed vlog intro ever. I'm on my way to London right now so I need to go and catch a train. Oh, it's such a gross for all day today. I thought it'd be sunny. What happened to that heat wave? Pretty sure it's about to rain. Probably should have brought an umbrella. I promise the whole of this vlog won't be me complaining about things. A lot of people in the last vlog pointed out how much of a height difference there is between Susie and I, which I thought was a well-known fact, but yeah, she is my little smurf. So the reason I'm actually in London today is for a Charlotte Tilbury event, which I'm really, really excited about. They're usually the best events. So we're on our way there now, we're just walking. It's quite a nice day now. The sun's come out a little bit more, which I'm thankful for. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot because I am in double denim today. Yeah, after that I think we're gonna get some lunch. We were going to book the IB Chelsea yeah. Gardens. Which I really want to go to because of the chocolate bomb dessert. Yeah. It's like the best thing that's ever happened. But they're like um, really busy and their times are not convenient for me. We're gonna try and get a walk in. If not, I'm sure we'll find some food somewhere. about the people think I went out with dry shampoo in my hair. Alex filmed me with dry shampoo in my hair when I was getting ready and they thought I went out like that. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't plan it too bad, sorry. No, I'm sorry. No. Just to verify, Susie does not walk out the house with dry shampoo on. See, I'm right now, check up. it's yeah. got dry shampoo in it that's, now. That's a good route. It's been five days since my last wash. How do you manage that? I can't go a day anymore. I need it's to, like, I need to grab it. We're talking about greasy hair. <laughs> are the magic foundation which is so so good i actually have one take home with me to try out as well so i'll be giving that a good test because i really really like it We just had a really lovely lunch. The chocolate bomb dessert was just the most amazing thing I've ever tasted. Mine kind of exploded a bit, yours looked a bit nicer. It did, it looked so pretty. But it tasted so good, it doesn't really matter how good it looked. So we're gonna cut our visit short today, we're gonna make our way home now. It's actually quite late, I think it's, it's half past five. I'm actually back here tomorrow morning, so yeah, I'm gonna go home and have a chill out before everything happens all over again. now I've been home for about half an hour and I've just taken all my makeup off because I had a lot of makeup on my face today and it feels so good to get it all off. So I used some of the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm because when I'm wearing tons and tons of makeup that's the only thing that really just breaks it down and gets rid of the bulk of it um, to begin with so I used some of that and then the Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Cleanser afterwards just to make sure my skin was cleansed as well um, and then I've also been using the Sunday Riley Artemis Oil. I'm still really into to the lunar oil but this one is quite good for breakouts and more clogged up skin and I definitely have been having a kind of bad 
skin moment. So I've been enjoying using this. It's a really nice hydrating oil, but it helps to clear out any block pores. Um, and then just my standard Bobbi Brown eye cream. And yeah, that's all I have on my skin. I've been keeping it quite simple when it comes to my skincare routine. So just using three or four products. And I've really been liking that. I think my skin has thanked me for it. Obviously not with the breakouts, but I think I can put that down to the heat at the moment and just other things. Um, but I'm really enjoying a simple skincare routine. I should probably eat some dinner, but I'm still so full up from that sandwich that we had at the Ivy. I had a grilled halloumi and something sandwich. It was so good with chips and I really shouldn't have. I should have stuck to the salad because I'm trying to be good before I go to LA. But it was worth it, it was so, so tasty. And that chocolate bomb thing, I've probably talked about it three times now, but it was so good. What I really want to do right now, more than anything, is get into bed and watch Once Upon a Time. I am obsessed, I am so into it. I was talking to Susie about it today. Not her cup of tea at all, she likes something with a bit of gore and violence in. Um, but I love it, is anybody else watching it? I'm on season two now, I think, or I'm just at the end of season two, and I think it's so good. So I really just want to watch that right now, but. Um, I need to do some work. I need to tidy up my room as well because it's looking a bit of a state. This portion of the room looks fine, the white pillows, everything else completely messy. Mm. Morning everyone, I am um, just getting ready, I've just done my makeup and I used a couple of the Charlotte Tilbury products that we got from the event yesterday. So the main launch is obviously the Magic Foundation. I have this in shade number three, which is actually quite a good match for me. I thought it'd be a bit dark, but it's not. And I think this is really good. It has a really nice coverage, really, really good coverage actually, but it's quite smoothing and helps get rid of pores and it just looks really quite fresh on my skin. I haven't put any powder on today, so I'm gonna kind of test it out and see how long it actually lasts on its own, but I think it's gonna do pretty well. And then I also use this. It's kind of like a double-ended concealer. One end is an eye cream which is supposed to be very brightening and lifting and then the other is a concealer. This concealer is actually really really light reflecting which I find hard to get in a concealer without them making your eyes look grey. And the last thing I used was one of the Colour Chameleon eyeshadow sticks. This is in the shade Mesmerising Mink. It's a really pretty kind of browny, silvery grey and I love these. I think the formulas are amazing. Also how cute is this new makeup bag. Oh, also while I'm talking about beauty products, I use this Tresemme Dry Defining Spray. This is from the Perfectly Undone range today. And I think my hair actually looks really, really big considering I have it straight and I haven't curled it or anything. I'm quite impressed. So I'm gonna finish getting ready and go. I'm really quite nervous about the travel situation today because the tubes are all on strike in London, which is gonna be absolutely hectic. People are gonna be running around. There's gonna be no cabs or Ubers, I can tell because everybody's gonna be using them. So I'm probably gonna be doing quite a lot of walking around today, which is fine. It's a nice sunny day, don't mind that. I was gonna wear a skirt or something with bare legs today, but I think it's actually gonna rain later, so I've gone for the fail safe all black outfit. I have um, a little jumper on from River Island, which is kind of sheer, so it's quite lightweight and nice to wear in this weather. Um, black jeans, my Whistles blue bag again, and same Topshop sandals that I am just wearing constantly at the moment. I love them. Okay, one successful tube ride later, and we're on our way to this okay. I am with this one. She can't leave me alone. So this is definitely my favourite from the whole Christmas collection. Look how beautiful this is. Um, it's an hourglass ambient lighting palette, but you've got the blushes, a bronzer, and the powders in there too, which is just amazing. I can't wait to get my hands on one of these. Sunday today. It's gloomy outside, it's raining, not particularly nice, so we spent most of the morning just sitting doing nothing. Darren is watching the tennis at the moment, it's the final of the men's Wimbledon singles, um, so we're watching that and I've just made my first ever 
acai bowl. Is it acai or acai? I never know how to pronounce it, but I've just had a go at making one. I've never done it before. So I just put in a banana, some frozen berries, and a couple of my jewel dates for some sweetness. Um, and then the acai powder, which I actually got for my birthday from my mum, so thanks mum, because I've been looking for it for ages. And then some coconut water just to make everything a bit more mixable. And I blended it up in my Nutribullet, which has definitely been one of my favourite or best purchases because I get so much use out of it. And I'm pretty impressed with how it came out. It doesn't look quite as beautiful as the ones you see on Pinterest and Instagram. I don't think I decorated it very nicely. I just put some granola, some strawberries and some bee pollen on top. But I'm going to tuck into this now and watch the rest of the tennis. <laughs> This actually tastes amazing. So we finally ventured out of the house to go out for lunch. I think we're gonna run some errands as well. And it's raining, it's gloomy and horrible. I don't particularly want to be outside. So we've come to one of our favourite little lunch places which is the 10th hole in South Sea. I've vlogged about it so many times because it's just my favourite. But I'm sure if you're from the South you've been here because it's the best. So we're going to go in now and have something to eat. It's huge. It's the size of your face. You are not going to eat all that. I went for the Mars Bar Cheesecake, which is one of my favourites. This thing is so, so tasty. I was defeated. I had to take the rest of my cheesecake home in a bag. So we are back home now. We're gonna have, I think, just a cozy afternoon on the sofa. I really want to watch Magic Mike because I haven't even seen the first one and the second one is out now. So I'm gonna try and persuade down to watch it with me. I've been home for about a minute and I've already changed into my pajama bottoms, which is just the perfect way to spend a Sunday. Ooh, that's definitely new. So as it is Sunday night, I think I'm gonna have a little skincare treat. I'm gonna use this mask, this is from Shantikai. This is the detox clay mask with rosemary and honey and I've been really into this at the moment. It's quite a thick clay mask but it's quite moisturising as well so I'm going to put some of this on because my skin is definitely a bit dehydrated today. Looking pretty scary right now. So what were your thoughts on Magic Mike? Mm. <laughs> I thought it was so good. If you like Channing Tatum, you like men dancing with their shirts off, it's a film for you. So we're going to head to bed now, or oh, we're already in bed pretty much. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed this kind of spontaneous, not particularly exciting vlog. I might try and do a vlog every Tuesday or every other Tuesday depending on what I'm doing. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did and we will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.